And here we are starting off. I uh, finally got some stuff worth hooking up to the electrical components that we had. So I figured, you know, why the hell not? Let's just go ahead and put her in, get her hooked up real quick, and uh, then see maybe uh, what kind of jobs or something we can do for Joel. I think we're going to go ahead and take a tier 5, but we'll just see what he's got and decide from there. All right, let's see. Well, it's going to be probably one of the first two. Um, no. Two-bit tower. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. I'll go ahead and close that for Joel. And then uh, we'll go ahead and see you there. And we did decide to wait until morning. Uh, came in... Uh, Came overnight and uh, just was a little daunting to see how many levels we're going to have to go through. So I went home, got some more ammo, just piddled around a little bit and came back bright and early in the morning. Let's go ahead and check out what's in here. If I can get over the ledge. Okay, looks like there's a cop. And okay. Whew, got him before he blew up. Thank God. Check out what's in here. Okay, that was nice. Got some 9mm ammo. Switch those around just because I like the hot keys a little bit better. And that is what you want to see. I mean, it would be better if it was purple, but by God, I'll take a blue. I think we're just going to go ahead and get that modded up and repaired. Because we're going to be using that to uh, bash the zombie head in. Next one. Ooh, steel gloves. I mean, that's that is also what you want to see. Get those repaired and equipped. And let's go ahead and check out what's back out here. Okay, so there's one zombie in that little generator area so far. I'm not really seeing any others. But we'll go ahead and. Her up. You don't want to get too much. Oh, okay. Well, there seems to be plenty of them that want to come get me, so we're just going to hang out in here. And honestly, it looks like not a moment too soon. Holy crap. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of zombies that just all of a sudden appeared out of nowhere. In fact, let's just hop back out here. Hopefully they won't try to run over here, but... Really glad I got this AK over that pipe machine gun. Definitely needed an upgrade before we started taking these off. I mean, honestly, I would have preferred to have the machine gun, but I'll do it with the AK. So there's one at the door now. Actually, that hole is just perfect. You can just sit there and shoot him right in the head. And what do we got? What do we... Okay, nope. Okay, come on. Time it. Time it. There we go. Ooh, a vehicle book. You always need more of those. We still haven't unlocked the motorcycle, unfortunately. I do apologize about uh, any FPS drops. Uh, we are in the city, unfortunately, and there are a ton more zombies out here than normal. Um, but we'll just go ahead and keep pushing on. Seems like this uh, is going to be just chock full of irradiated, but you do what you got to do. Here, open the door. Oh, this looks a bit ominous. I wonder what's gonna happen when I go down here. A bunch of shit is gonna spawn up there, or. Um, nope. Looks like it's just two zombies down here. And that's not a big deal. Let's 
looks like some sort of support sewer or something like that. Um, hopefully we won't have to actually clear everything out here because there is a board or something on that side and I don't see any easy way to parkour over that so I don't really want to mess with that right now. Just go up the stairs and see what's going on up here. Hopefully nothing too crazy. We may have activated all those zombies. Oh, okay, there's one. But uh, when we were clearing out those ones in the garage, we may have activated a bunch of zombies up here in this area, and then they ran down and dropped down, which is why we didn't see them for a little second. Looks like we did wake up another guy over here, but let's just try out our new club. Mm, I am liking the feel of that. It's going to be even better when we get back to base and put a couple more mods in it. Ooh, it doesn't look like there's any secret little loot stashes here, so we'll just jump across. And nothing yet. Ugh, it's a little nerve-wracking. Because you know they're just going to spawn behind me and just come rushing up on me. Yep, see? Cleverly hidden so you don't see them right when you walk in. Five or six on the compass. And oh shit, there's an irradiated right there, so we'll see if we can't snipe him. Nope. But we did wake everybody up, so screw that. Oh, another radiate. Oh, cop. Nope, that's a cop. That's a radiated cop. We're done with that shit. Run back out here. Try and set up a little defensive position. Hopefully they won't follow me right across. Oh, actually, I don't think they can because that little pole broke when we jumped across. So let's just try and shoot them through here. Actually, I think that's doing, doing some work. Are they trying to shoot through that air filter? Or, or not air filter, but air conditioning system? Nope, they're beating through the floor. That's kind of... <laughs> that's kind of creepy. Coming out of there like some foot ninjas out of the sewer or something. And we went ahead and just jumped back across. Looks like we cleared out everything in this room at least. So we'll just head on to the next room after we do some looting. And did find another irradiated. That's like our 12th or 13th irradiated. Like, seems like high amount for a tier 5. I don't know. Where did they come from? Okay, so they're not coming through that entrance there. It looks like we attracted some attention outside. get up here I feel like maybe she was one of the zombies I don't know it just feels like she climbed up somewhere and ooh, I did find this while we were looting so we'll definitely take a purple wrench definitely gonna be wrenching a lot more crap now that we have electrical shit that we need to start building especially once we get our stupid books up that high currently we are forced to buy them directly from the trader Okay, this is the entryway. Then we're going up another set. Let's see. Okay, so then looks like we are safe from that side. Take this out to hopefully not wake anybody up. Oh, shit. Okay. Can we get the... Yeah, go ahead and okay well that was luckily I did that because I would have had to waste time opening the door and I think we're gonna be okay though huh that's weird I shot him in the leg and that stopped him from vomiting all over me but 
push through here. Oh, he is definitely not a part of the quest, but we're gonna have to clear him anyways because they are annoying. All right, come on, brother, come on. What, what are you doing? Can you just come around the side, bro? Like, Jesus. I don't want to have to destroy any more of this to freaking kill you. A couple shotgun shells to the stomach. I mean, I really should be shooting it for his head, but this damn rubble keeps getting in the way, so we'll see if we can't. Alright. So that's cleared. So that's kind of the only way in for them right now that I know of. Keep an eye on that. Oh, okay. Probably don't want to fall down there. Okay. Okay. Well, seems to be a recurring. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. I didn't. I didn't want to do this. Fuck. 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 Oh shit. Okay. Thank God. That cop ended up saving me. I mean, Jesus. That that was lucky. Freaking blew up all that wood so I could run through. That was kind of hairy. I, oh shit. Screamer. I mean, we are in kind of rough shape right now. It's kind of not good. Take her before she can scream again. And then gotta take the stupid cop out. And now I gotta deal with the goddamn zombies. She spawned. Oh, actually, I thought the cop was dead. He's not dead. Now he's dead. They seemingly can't get up here like I thought. We'll just hang out here for a second. Get our ailments under control. Okay. I think it's, I think it's okay to start heading back inside now. here and we're right back at the okay oh shit what is that seems we have attracted a lot of friends somewhere okay they're getting quieter so I think we actually move further away from them or they move further away from us Okay, so now I hear him again. Where are they? Are they uh, back upstairs? I guess take this ladder here. Oh, shit. If this was home alone, I would be knocked out right there with a freaking potted plant to the head. Well, we'll just let them do whatever the hell they're doing, and we'll take care of them whenever they show up. For now, we're just going to keep clearing all these rooms. Oh, fuck. Ooh, sorry. I uh, got a little distracted there trying to survive. I, it's a little hard to keep the commentary up. But uh, keep pushing, keep pushing. Okay, so where is that other one that's still alive? Oh, shit. Okay, so they are breaking through this wall over here. And it looks like he lost his legs or something. Okay, where are you coming from? That one horde freaking... Oh, God. Holy shit. Okay. Probably should use explosives, but I can't really switch to them right now. Okay, we got the shotgun, which is kind of like an explosive. Jesus. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here, because that cop is going to hit us with some vomit. Hide behind here real quick to try to... Oh, shit. Holy fuck. It's like fucking super cop over here. In fact, let's just go outside. Get everything reloaded. Okay. You know what? Yep, we're done. Go outside. We're going outside. Okay. 
they kind of trailed. We've got Screamer too. Looks like that party girl zombie just spawned in because of her. Damn, this would have really sucked to clear at night. And of course we have everybody coming, so we're just gonna go ahead and get reloaded, hang out for a second, let our stamina regen, because God knows they're gonna freaking come flying in here. Where are they coming from? Probably need to figure that out. And while we were waiting for him, we did find another screamer. What are you going to do? Luckily, we got her before she screamed. Our ammo is starting to run a little low for our AK. It's kind of uh, a little scary. Since we keep running into shit we don't want to mess with. With a uh, melee weapon like this goddamn cop. Oh my god, and another screamer. Luckily, again, we were able to kill her before she screams. Oh, nope, looks like we didn't get her before she screamed. Let me freaking kill this cop with a gun and then switch to the bow. We are really starting to run out of here. Oh. Regular zombies just get the club and the bow. In fact, I'm gonna use the bow on bow. That's actually what that tells me. It's on anyway. Just FYI. Little, little joke there. Haha. <laughs> that was kind of delayed. Shot him, and then like five seconds later, he did the little spin jump. Reminds me of Bloodsport. They do uh, one of the opening fight scenes that they show. There's a guy that gets kicked from like the right side, and then he falls to the right side and instead of to the left side. To show you know like the momentum of the kick kind of knocking him out. It's kind of funny. All right, now that we got last zombie killed from all that bullshit, we can get back to freaking doing the quest. Ugh feels never ending. I feel, I feel like I've climbed up and down that freaking ladder several times already, even though it's only been like three times. And actually, we have another horde working its way up to us. But I think for now, we're just go higher. Say screw it. They can slowly work their way up, and we'll deal with them when we can deal with them. This Ooh! You know, it's not every day you find the purple pipe pistol, or excuse me, it's not a pipe pistol. You find the purple pistol in a purse. Yep, see, there they are coming. We'll just take them out. And these are just extra zombies. In fact, that's, that's that one we shot with an arrow. Uh, scrap that. We're not, we're not worried about magnum ammo. We're not going to be using any sort of magnum pistols or anything like that. If we did get one, we'd purely use it for the uh, trade bonus that you get for holding up the trader for better deals. And I don't really feel like going through their little parkour shit of doom, so we're just gonna hop up here and say screw that and check out what's in here. In fact, we woke everybody up. It's funny how a stealth kill does that. Here in the bathroom. Go to the next floor. Actually, we're gonna have to make a little bridge, it looks like, to get up there. So, we'll just have to do that. It's always why you want to keep some building blocks on you. You never know when you're gonna need to improvise something like a combat engineer. Especially solo, you know, they could save your life. They will save your life. You get them down in time. Not get hit by this 
Alright, God forbid we get a bleed right now. Oh. Looks like they're all working on their personal fitness in the gym here. We're coming to ruin that as the lazy folks that we are. And this is what I was talking about with the building blocks. Oh, well, smart. That didn't really help. <laughs> there's that thing above that they can climb on. So we'll just do that and hop over here. And I don't think they can get me like they did there. In fact, we'll just do a little elevator. Where are they? I mean, there is a shit ton on my compass, but I am not seeing any of them. Why are you digging, bro? Oh, that's because they are all over here trying to break through this barricade. Luckily, we can take advantage of some poor schmuck's work. Can I wake up everybody in here, too? Oh, no, but I did now. It's always satisfying when you club them before they club you. If that's done yet or not, but we'll just. God damn. Got them all spread out so they'll be pretty easy kills. We got that burning coming at me. What's up, bro? Where are those other three? I mean, they say they're right on top of me. Are they below me or above me? And yes, I, I uh, installed an empty jar mod kind of halfway through the playthrough because I was tired of dealing with it. But honestly, I may uninstall it. Kind of tired of dealing with it. But well, I hope you tune in for next episode. We are going to go ahead and end the video now. But uh, thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you around and have a good night.